Ballerina farm, you all. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It was, it just came out. What the New York Times actually did an article on this couple. Yes, as you they actually know, went and visited them on their farm. Yes, apparently. And they wanted to talk to her, but said that the husband kept on interrupting. And he was, he actually, the husband was the one who actually answered the door with the baby and the toe and everything. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like he also was a part of the interview. It seemed like he kind of stayed there for most of the yes. time. But the um, interview was saying in the article that, um, they were hoping to speak to just, just her. to her, but then he will come in. The husband will come in. Um, I think they have about eight. If you guys don't kids. know, the ballerina farm is basically about this woman mm -hmm. who um, went to Juilliard and then she ended up getting married. She to was a guy. dancer. They got she married. She was a dancer, got married, I think, when she was um, relatively young in their mm -hmm. teens, I do think. Um, and then they both I think decided. They got married in their 20s. Yeah, early twenties. Yeah, like twenty twenty one. Yeah, um, I think she. Yeah, but she ended up going, um, getting married with him, and then they kind of, you know, she was still dancing. Mm -hmm. I think after she had her first and second child, she was still trying to finish school and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Originally, she did not actually want to get married right away. Yeah, but they, I think they were and she together didn't want to have children months. right away. But they started having kids, and yeah, she never together. finished that school. I think she. I think she actually did graduate. Did she graduate? Yeah, I think she actually okay. did graduate, but she just didn't dance professionally anymore. Yeah. But they were together for a month, and then they got married six months later. I or was it? It was two months later. I think so. I think they were together for a total of three months. But she actually did not want to get married right away. She actually wanted to get married a year after because she was like, then I can finish school and all this stuff because she mm -hmm. didn't have much left. But he said, no, it's not going to work if we don't get married now or whatever. So he kind of pressured her into it. Yeah. Um, he saw her and he wanted to get married and he comes from a very wealthy family apparently Yeah, and but he didn't grow up on the farm life You know, he kind of they have kind of started this whole farm life because they both I guess they both said they wanted to he, like, raise That her. was his dream. Okay. He wanted to be on a farm and He wanted kids. to have children there, but she said that they and both wanted to do it. Yeah, not in the I don't mm -hmm. think that's what her original her thing was, was, but I yeah. think it kind of turned because she was very young at the time. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy for women to be influenced by their man or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Um, and then they have, I mean, they have built a pretty beautiful life together. They, yeah. I think they have like a 15 acre farm. They have all these animals and stuff and they mm -hmm. actually grow them and then they um sell the meat and all that stuff mm -hmm. and they have the milk and everything yeah. and they actually call her the queen of the trad wise which you know there's this trend about women yeah. who are and she actually women. doesn't embrace that person she actually doesn't she doesn't consider um, herself that but yeah. she did yeah. Which for me, the whole thing, I just feel like I don't want to. She also did the pageant too. Let's but she, she her had sister that. actually told her to do the pageant she just so that she could have a break from everything. Mm -hmm. Mind you, this woman was nine months pregnant. She had just had her baby 12 days ago. Yeah, when she went had to go to the, pageant. to the pageant. And so she was breastfeeding and doing the pageant. And she said even there was a point where she was telling the husband, a couple of days before she had to go for the pageant to say, you know, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to do this. Because it was because six days she was laying in bed after she gave birth because she yeah. had a lot of complica complications. Mm -hmm. Because she spent her whole pregnancy trying to stay fit so when the pageant came, mm -hmm. she would be able to still look good. And she was quite snatched, actually, after she 12 really days. She really was, because she was in that bathing suit. Oh my I God. was like, damn, Just she like, must have really been... You go, girl! You go. But she said she bled so much, yeah. which was the first time I think she said with her pregnancy that she had bled so bled so much. Yeah. Um. So she was doing all that, but her sister yeah. told her to do this pattern just to get a break, which yeah. I don't even know was a break because I would have much preferred to stay my. But I think it would have been. It's nice to go have your hair done, whatever, make you f kind of get out of. It probably helped with not having that postpartum depression too which with all the bleeding and all this stuff, I'm sure it's a lot for her. Taking care of eight kids. Well, also she said there's a lot of times where she's so exhausted from the housework that she is laid out for weeks. Like the husband like said week. that. Yeah. The husband actually said, you know, she's something she gets so tired and worn down, which mm -hmm. I am sure. And now top of that one, this, this man mm -hmm. doesn't allow a nanny 
in the house. He doesn't want her to have a nanny. Yeah. I think she's also homeschooling the kids as well. Yes, they are homeschooling. Um, so she's taking care of all these kids by herself. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't really have any help at all. Yeah. But then she's also I will definitely have someone to come into the house and clean. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, I can't have a nanny, fine, but I'm gonna have someone to clean. And if I am doing all too. these if I'm doing all of these shows with my YouTube and all that, like I want someone to come in and take care of the kids one like it's okay to have someone who comes in at certain times. Especially she was exercising so much. I used to I actually used to do babysitting and I used to babysit, there was a couple who had just had children. The wife did not work, the husband worked. And it wasn't the first couple I babysat for like this, but when I was in college, I did a lot of babysitting. But I will go to take care of the children so that the mother can go and exercise. Wow. So she can go and exercise. After she exercises, she likes to go to the little wash up at the gym. Then she likes to go to the library right. and then just go walking by herself. So I will, I will come in like four days during the week and babysit anywhere from two to four hours. So the mom can just go do something for herself, you know? Um, and something like that she can do this. You know, ballerina. Oh, did I also mention that this woman mm -hmm. has had all these kids and has never, I think the first two she did, but the other kids she has had birth with no medication yeah. upstairs. Yeah. Um, but she actually said that she actually enjoyed having the epidural because her husband was not there at the time. Mm -hmm. um, but and she kind of whispered that. Yeah, so I wonder did. if he knew about it, but I guess when he reads the article, he knows about it now. <laughs> Yeah, Which yeah, I am sorry. That no man can go and say whether a woman should have an epidural or not. Like you're an idiot. Because you're not the, the one who's like, going to be... Now, let me tell you. When I went to have... She was that my first... Not be in women business, I feel. She, she, Mary was my rainbow child. So, we Meaning were so I had, excited. You had me after you had a miscarriage. Yes. Yeah. We were so incredibly <laughs> excited. That's why she was such a happy baby. Yeah. We were so happy. We were so excited that we were finally, and then I was, we were triple excited when we found out it was a girl because we both wanted a girl. And oh my goodness, when we went to have her, before that we had our birth plan, which I still have written to this day. And we had our birth plan, you know, no epidurals, no episiotomy, don't use the vacuum, like all these different things. And as soon as the baby is born, the father has to take the baby and he has to, you know, as most as we take the baby and he says in her ear, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger, right? So he whispers that in the baby's ear. And then th there is also, oh, we wanted like this classical music playing. We didn't want the child being disturbed. Let me tell you, when I went for the pregnancy, for the birth, and they put that Pitocin to start this whole thing going, oh my goodness. First it was like, oh, this is wonderful. I'm there listening to the music, oh. Oh, I don't know why people are saying, you know, about this birth, oh, it's, it's, it's wonderful. He's holding my hand, wiping my forehead. When I felt that pain, oh my God. When I grabbed my man, I said, you better get the nurse. I need my epidural. He was like, oh, but we said, we said, brother, you better go get the nurse, okay? Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, a man cannot say whether a woman should have an epidural or not. You are not the one going through that pain. You don't even have periods. So like well, just I mean, keep it moving. <laughs> yeah, just be a support system and a just quiet a support, system. support system. And women, don't feel ashamed. If you had had this whole birth plan minus epidural and you get there and you have, like, listen, go right ahead and have your epidural and keep it moving.
Yeah, I also, um, so for but me, she I just, him. I don't want to completely say that, oh, this is crazy, this man has trapped this woman, or whatever the case may be, but I do want to well, say that Well, I still felt he trapped her right away when they got married, but oh, I have not trapped her. Like, he of, made sure yeah. this woman ain't going nowhere, and he certainly trapped her with the first baby. That's what I feel, what? because when you look at the two of them, I know he looked at her and thought to himself, she's so beautiful. She probably has so many options. Let me hurry up and tie this one down to me. Hence the quick marriage and hence the having kids very quickly. Yes, he what? did trap her without a doubt because even though he had all that moolah, he knew she had way, way too many options. Okay, yeah. and he she would have been able to attract someone who probably got much more money than his family did. Okay. Yeah, so, he definitely yeah. trapped her for sure. For and sure. I think that for he sure. knew what he had and mm -hmm. he wanted to make sure that she wasn't going anywhere. And yeah, I do exactly. think it's very unfortunate because she I do has feel had like babies every year. I feel like it's very unfortunate that mm -hmm this man did that to her because I do feel like she would have had a different life but not to say that the life that they have built is not beautiful because it is yeah. beautiful you are raising your kids on a farm and all exactly. this stuff but the part where I feel like there's wickedness mm -hmm. is um the her having no help her having to be so exhausted her not being yeah. able to really yes she has stayed fit but it's not she's not staying fit mm -hmm. um I think she's staying fit just so that she can feel good about herself yeah. and to also to stay snatched. And I would not be shocked if he also has a requirement for her to stay fit, if I'm being honest. Mm. Um, but I just feel like the wickedness for me is where she just does not really have help like that. She's not allowed Absolutely. to have a nanny. Mm -hmm. um, she's not It's kind of isolating to her too. It's definitely isolating. Not giving her any opportunity to, to go have a, a moment to herself. Yeah. Because maybe if he's afraid... If she has a moment to herself, she will think that maybe I don't want this. And then also, my so there's a control thing there with him. Yeah, and then also she used to have a dance studio in the house. They moved, they changed that to a, a playroom for the kids. Mm -hmm. So the dance room she had, she doesn't even have that. So for me, the Anymore. wickedness is where he does not allow her to thrive and have her own dreams. Yeah. So that's where my issue is. But I do think what they have done is beautiful. But what I don't like is that this woman is so exhausted where she's laid out for weeks. And she shouldn't have to And have, that could be depression too. There should be some there type of... There could be of, depression. I think she, this woman needs therapy. That could be some depression with the laying out. Well, she's for exhausted. A week. Well, One, yes, you're having exhausted. To please this man, two, having to work work out all the time, then three, having all these damn kids and not damn kids, but all these kids like that, having to take care of the I farm hear, and then having to do all this cooking. Like it's exhausting. Yeah. And I'm sure that man's not even doing fifty percent of that, but I'm sure he has all his help and all his employees because he's quite fat. Well, he's stout. <laughs> Not fat, he's quite stout. Hey. I'm sorry. Well, I'm he sorry. is a little chubby. He is quite stout. He does have a tummy. And yeah. if anything, she looks a little anorexic. Like, especially no, in the loves, arms. No, like, she... here, there's a little bit of... Okay. A little bit. Yeah. But my thing is, I just, I think it's unfair. Because mm -hmm. obviously, he has enough help where he's able to get some meat on his bones. But she's not able to. Matter of fact, she is laid is out in bed. Is he working bed. out? <laughs> if, he, if he has a requirement for her to remain snatched, then she should have a requirement for his, he's, he's, for him to have a waistline. This is my issue. When men go and they trap women, but you know. Men are the biggest trappers <laughs> I know they say about how women trap men. Men been trapping women for how men how many hundreds of years? And you know what's crazy? A lot of times, beautiful women are women who have a lot going for themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't see their value and their worth, mm -hmm. but the man sees it before they, they do. It. They Wait. they've sat down, they've analyzed, they they picked out all these situations and mm -hmm. all this stuff in their mm -hmm. head, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh my god! Because as a man, he probably knows what other men want, and mm -hmm. she was probably so that a lot of men and she would, is it right? She's it. Yeah. So he went ahead and because one, mm -hmm. she did not actually want to get into a relationship with him like that. But she had mentioned that she was going to be going to New York for a whole dance thing. He hops on the same flight and he makes some call to JetBlue and gets them to sit next to each other. Right. And that His was their family first date. owns JetBlue. Yes. 
So and he wanted to show her, look, this is what my family owns. Well, he didn't like her But she know. was still not... Trying to get married right away. But he was yeah. like, it's not going to work with what you're doing. Like, we need to get married right away. And trapped her immediately. And for me, that's where the wickedness is. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, yes, you guys have built this beautiful life. It's beautiful what they have done. You know, it's not easy. Well, it's certainly beautiful for him. But it's a lot more work on her. It is. And I have always said this. I do think that when it's a good marriage... Mm -hmm. It marriage benefits women, mm -hmm. but whether it's a good or bad marriage, I do feel like marriage benefits men. Anything you mean men, saying? not women? No, I feel like women well, benefit from marriage when it's a good person. Oh yes, and they a, have themselves together. But mm -hmm. I do feel like men, even if the marriage ends, men usually glow up way more from marriage than women do. So I yeah, like, even when it's a bad marriage, a man glows up. Yeah, that's what I. That yeah. you know because oh, there's so many people in our lives. Even with you, you could probably even say that, you know, the man glowed up. <laughs> you yep. know what I'm saying? Like, so that's what I, I personally feel. he left in a much better situation than he, than came, he in. came into the marriage. Yeah. That's for damn sure. Yeah. And, and that I, was not the case for me. That's for damn sure. Well, On both, both times, actually. So, but, anyway. you know, that's neither here nor, nor there. there. I do always wish him well. I am happy that yeah. he is standing strong. You know, I am happy yeah. about that because, you know, it can only benefit his children, right? Yeah, so it has. That's oh, great. Sure. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so that's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> but this man is living his dreams. This woman says she's her happiest when she's actually dancing. And yeah. you have all these kids And you will you. think that he will try to provide a moment for her. Yeah. Like someone who really loves you will try to provide a moment for you. They wouldn't like to you go exhausted. away. Like bringing a nanny for that time or that time. He is there with the children and then bringing in Annie. He couldn't even let and her. let her go away to go enjoy some dancing. Do you even like like give her like a gift? Maybe she can go to a ballet and go watch that with her sister or something. Or maybe even join a ballet without and you. do it. You know, I mean, like even... so many things that you could do for her just to let her know that you see her and you're trying to make things easier for her. Yeah. Like we have to get away while it's wonderful, the trad wife movement and all that stuff. That's great. However, you know, being a homemaker doesn't have to be something all that's nothing. taxing. Yeah. Right? You can still add these moments for your wives where they can go do something just on their own. Well, what I like about And Nara just get away, you know? Yeah. What I so. like about Nara Smith is oh. that, you know, her husband, Lucky, like, yes, we see her cooking and all this stuff on TikTok, but you also see the husband actively working, mm -hmm. and he also, he also be in that kitchen, mm -hmm. and that also he takes care of the kids. I remember she had a modeling job not too long ago, like maybe two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. He kept the oldest kids. I mean, obviously, she had to take the baby because she is um, breastfeeding, breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. but he took care of the two older kids and mm -hmm. had everything set up for her when she got home and stuff. Yeah. So, I think there has to be a balance. Being a child wife does not mean that you give up your life mm -hmm. and you just sit home and you just cater to your man yeah that, that's rubbish because and then the other thing not too, saying that's rubbish I mean, that's she's also really bringing awful. in money yeah like from her youtube she's bringing a whole bunch of money and so she's she, actually doing all that so herself. she's doing part of what you are supposed to do and let her be able to go and enjoy that you have your moment the husband has his moment to go out go work go do him on his own without any of the children and i'm sure he feels happy like you should still do that for your spouse as well you know it's so important really yeah y'all but you um, guys let us know what you think about this whole thing yeah i mean i still want them to win because i love when families you know i love the homemaker and then the husband who works i just love that setup i think it's beautiful but in modern uh, time especially with this type of man who is like so in my opinion controlling to an yeah. extent i do think that it's important even if you're gonna be a traditional wife it's so important for women to have their own money stashed away yeah. and have something going for 
for themselves. Which she does Which right she now, does, but I feel but like she should be able to nurture her dreams of being a dancer. I really and she's think not able so. to do that. She I needs really to do some so. little dancing in the house with the kids running around. All she and wanted was a her. studio. You could make a whole studio you know, for her. You her farm. You could make a whole studio for her where this is just her space where you can take care of the children and let her go for hours and just do that and you can have a nanny like what is this rubbish you can't have a nanny you know? the neighbor up the and road when you are looking after the kids don't be there it's all about do y'all want to go see mommy in her studio the wickedness no. is too much for mommy me. is busy right now just like when dad goes to work you guys don't come and see me there so mom's in her studio doing her things and you're gonna stay with me yeah yeah, that's you know, what you do but that's my beef with this whole thing i do I think the life you. they built I is gorgeous you. it's I beautiful I think and they're I doing agree. they're doing something amazing for their community because mm -hmm. we need more and food. for their family we need more food that's not chemically processed we need more food that's healthy that's organically raised and all this stuff exactly but where the woman is suffering is laid out you need to look at yourself brother you yeah need to look at i mean that's not even something to say i don't know what he thought like maybe he thought we were going to be like, oh my God, she's laying out. How lazy? No, we're looking at you. Like, where the How hell is are your you? wife so depressed that she laid out for seven days? How is she so exhausted? Maybe you need to rethink some of the help that she needs with the eight children. And most of the time when I see her in the video, she actually looks exhausted and a bit annoyed sometimes, if, I, if I'm being honest. <laughs> well, what I will say she does look disheveled to me. She seemed disheveled a lot of times. Absolutely, that's the when word. I see her. That's the um, I, I think the first time that I saw her, that's what I thought to myself because I was a homemaker at one point, um, and I was always dressed to the nines. Um, and what I like about Nara Smith, she stays dressed to the nines, and yeah, you know, a woman who is nines. not looking disheveled, that means she has help at home. That's what that represents. I mean, to I me. didn't have help at home, but you know, I still was always dressed up. Then I but you have didn't have child. twenty. You <laughs> didn't have twenty kids. You only had the one, and then you, you had the husband. Stop <laughs> I'm just saying, like, but she's obviously yeah. disheveled because she has this controlling. Up. Anyway, yeah. I'm not repeating myself. No, problem. I think that there needs to be she some balance. is stressed out. One. I am sure the fact that her sister even told her, you know, her sister knows what her sister is going through. The fact that her sister wanted her to do the whole pageant Just thing, for us to her to get a break. That shows that the sister knows about this whole dancing thing. So it makes me think that she, this lady is not, she's striving to be satisfied where she is, but she's not. There's something in her, the dancing wants to come out, you know, and he's suppressing that. And That's you know what also is very sad? Her father actually, that week, she found out that he was going to be dying in a week. That whole, she that is same the one. I was wondering that, if that's the um, one who the father passed away. The father was like a florist. No, no, no. No, I don't think he was a florist. He is. He was. The one whose father passed away. This is her. This is her. He had a flower shop. He surely did. I don't think so because she said he had terminal cancer. He also had terminal right. cancer. What type of cancer was it? I, don't, I cannot remember, but she's the one because I was trying to think. I said, is that the one whose father passed away? Because I saw someone who looked like her. Well, he hasn't father. passed. We don't know if he has passed he away. He has or passed not. away. She said that she. He has passed away now. And. Um, I just sent you that video. So I, I know you didn't. I you. saw her before you brought this ballerina thing to me. And I remember when I saw it, I was thinking, I said, she looks like the lady whose father, who was a florist, doesn't live too far away from them. He passed away recently. Um, and they put, I guess, his flowers on his thing. If you guys, if her father is the one who passed away and he was a florist, has like a flower shop, let me know. Well, I don't know her. if it is or isn't, but I do know that during this time, her, she found out that during this whole pageant thing, and then mm -hmm. also giving birth, she found out that her dad was going to be dying in a week or whatever because he had brain cancer. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if the father has died or not, mm -hmm. but yeah, anyway, we're almost at 30 minutes. But yeah, y'all, let us know what you guys think. We're almost at 30 minutes on this. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I guess we're really passionate about it. Yeah, we are very passionate about women being in up. relationships where they are trapped and they have no escape. Um, <laughs> but we will see you guys on the next well, video. What's that song? Um, um, whatever I can't get me out. A I'm con. locked up, they can't let me out. No, <laughs> that's my A con. But yeah, y'all, we'll see y'all later.